Hot girl uses nerd for her homework. She instantly regrets it. Ooh, Kyra, check out this palette. I'm gonna wear this for the Romeo and Juliet edition. Nice. Okay. <laughs> her skin has pretty. Aren't has you getting anything? Like she had this one episode where her skin was just breaking out like crazy. So it's either makeup job going makeup job going crazy or she can clear her skin no. up. Hey, I'm live on Twitch every single Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Link is in the description. I better see you there. Look, I know you're going for the nurse, but maybe you can, I don't know, go for the hot nurse. Ha <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, very funny. But no, I'm just gonna stick to my basic makeup routine for it. Oh, that's lame. How are you gonna be able to afford all that anyways? You're more broke than me. Well, oh. the same way I always do. Mm. With the pretty girl discount. Uh -huh. What do you mean, Em? Hey, we're here. Watch and learn. Pretty girl discount does not work. This is not this is not a high school musical, bro. I don't even I never even watched high school musical. What am I talking about? That's not what I meant to say. I meant to say this is real life. Okay, that's that's all I was trying to say. Hey you. Hi. <clears throat> uh, did you find everything okay today? It, we did. Brad. Wow, that's such a great name. Cap. <laughs> You're probably the cutest Brad I've ever met. Really? Well, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. All right, that'll be seventy-five ninety-eight. <laughs> seventy-five ninety-eight. But I, I don't have that much. Oh, uh, womp womp. Uh, do you think you could help me out, Brad? <sighs> I'm not really mm -hmm. sure if I could. You shouldn't. Well, you have. Hey, you need a uh, a manicure. A manicure is for the nails, right? Yeah, you need a manicure because that purple does not look good on you, Brad. Brad, I recommend just staying with black. Employee discount, don't you? <laughs> I'm not supposed to give it out, and honestly, I'm not even supposed to ring up my own discount myself. But you do it for me, right? Brad. All right, I can give you 30%. Just 30? What do you mean, just? Well, what about this 20% off coupon? Let's make it 50. That's not. Please, I'll give you my number. Weighing your options is kind of crazy. Okay. Fine. But just don't say anything to anybody. You're the best. <laughs> I'm a hater. If I'm the friend, I'm snitching immediately. <laughs> you're not about to you're not about to break laws around me. <laughs> Especially if I get nothing out of it. Immediate snitching. Here's my number. It's gonna be a fake number too. <laughs> Good day. Sorry, but what do we have today? Oh, tried and true, yes. Are you not getting any lunch? No, I kind of spent all my money on that makeup show. Oh, Emily. Makeup over food? Okay, you know, I don't know what it's like to be a girl, but I knew I do know what it's like to have my priorities straight. Okay, that's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, hey, uh, what are you doing after school? I was thinking maybe you can come over and watch a movie with me or something. We have that project due in physics. Plus, auditions are tomorrow. I gotta practice on my monologue. But you're welcome to join me if you want. We can work on the project and run our lines together. <laughs> Hard pass, no offense, but I don't really want to spend my night working on some lame physics project. Wait, oh, really? did you finish your project already? No. Well, then what are you gonna do? You know it's like 30% of our grade, right? Uh, I'm not too worried about it. I think you're forgetting about my secret weapon. Is she about to seduce her teachers? <sighs> Emily, I don't think your pretty privilege is gonna get you an A in Mrs. Blanchard's class. Oh. What are you gonna do? Flirt with our physics teacher? Nope, oh, <laughs> I've got nerd. a better idea. <laughs> hey, Nelson, what are you doing after school? Um. I'm probably just gonna study and play Minecraft like I always do. Uh, why? What's up? Uh, do you think you could help me with our physics project? Oh yeah, of course. What part are you stuck on? I don't know, like all of it. Okay. Uh, do, do you want to meet at my place? You know how like boring that would be to help someone else with their like projects. Like if you don't. If it's not like homework where I can just give you a sheet and you copy the answers, don't ask me for nothing. You're not gonna get it from me. 
I refuse to put in time and effort to work on you when I could be having fun. Especially if I don't know you. Especially if I don't know you. Sir, or we don't have to, it can be at the public library. Actually, I think it'd be easier if you just did it for me. Please, Nelson, it would mean a lot to me. Nelson, do it, make sure she fails, and we'll all give you a round of applause. I will, I will stand up and I will cheer for you. I'll cheer Nelson. Nelson, just, just make sure she fails. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Nelly Bear. <sighs> By the way, do you happen to have extra lunch credits for me? Uh, oh, yeah. Help yourself. It's on me. <laughs> What's lunch credits? <laughs> oh, you're not going to talk this. to him after it? Gross. Okay. I feel like I have these lines down. Do you want to practice yours? I remember those good days in book theater for class. Em. Trying to memorize lines. Emily. Huh? Yeah. I realized it just wasn't for me. Want to be on book three so you can practice your lines? Sure, sure. I realized okay. I mean I was forced to be in theater class. I did not want to be there. Okay. <clears throat> Romeo. Oh, Romeo. Um. Oh, Romeo. Romeo. Did she not just say that? Oh. <clears throat> Oh, Romeo, Romeo, where are you, Romeo? Uh, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Like, man, if you wherefore art thou, shut up. Can we get a translator in, in modern modern times? Hey, Romeo, where your ass at? <laughs> where you at, Romeo? <laughs> like, come on, bro. Auditions are in a few minutes. You didn't even memorize your lines? What were you doing last night? <sighs> Catching up on selling sunset. Those women are the level of gorge that I'm aspiring to be. <laughs> yeah. And those women also probably put in hours of work to be signed with the O group. O group? Like O block? You're what not gonna about? get this role if you can't at the very least memorize your lines. And not to mention, this is Shakespeare. Okay, what does that mean? Do you even know that the ekphonesis O oh, is for who? The sound or cry of passion, not just oh. And there's also a way that you're supposed to read Shakespeare, you know, with the punctuation, you know, wrapped around the sonnet. It I didn't know I came here for for a Shakespeare's dingling suck. I didn't know we were about to be two handing Shakespeare, or I would have never clicked on this video. Cause Shakespeare is what do, what do we call it? Up uh, overrated. <laughs> you feel me? I feel like if anyone just had the confidence to make up words, maybe that's where he's not overrated. He just didn't want to. Not everyone wanted to just make up words. You know, anyone can get on stage, make up words, and it sounds profound. Okay. I'm about to start making up words. Skadoodle. I mean, that's not a made up word. Skyrash. Yeah. Yeah, I learned that from The Sims. It's, it's this, it's this. It means off with his head. Dance. That you're dead. Are you done yet? Girl. She told you to stop yapping. I'm trying to help you. Girl. I don't need help. I have my pretty, pretty privilege. privilege. <laughs> Besides, have you seen the new director? Hello, ladies. I'll see you on the stage in five. His voice sounds fake. Hello, Emily. Nice to see you again. <laughs> what? <laughs> he totally has the hots for me. That was weird. <laughs> I've got this in the bag. That was weird. <sighs> Listen, Em. Your looks may have gotten you free food. An A in class. Mm-hmm. But it's all gonna catch up to you. Because in life, yeah. there's no shortcuts to success. I mean, unless you're born into a rich family. There's a there's a lot of there's a lot of people born into rich families and it was like kinda a shortcut. There's a there's there's actually a lot of shortcuts to success. Like some people have to, you know, play with uh certain people's body parts and they get put into success. I mean there's just a lot of shortcuts. But I get I get what you're trying to say. But there's a lot of shortcuts. <laughs> You need to put in the work. Uh, hello. I worked really hard on this makeup. 
<laughs> or twere as good he were as living here and you no use of him. Thank you, Kyla. He said, Black woman. Okay, next. That's all of our nurses. We're gonna move on to our Juliets. First up, his we voice have... just doesn't sound real to me. Like it just sounds like it hurts. Wendy. Oh God. Whenever you're ready, Wendy. Oh, I'm gonna get secondhand embarrassment. I don't want to. Oh, to this. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Deny thy or father. Thou wilt be in but church? sworn, my love, and I will no longer be a Capulet. Mm. What's a Capulet? <laughs> Only one way to find out. What does Capulet mean? A cap Capulet is a member or citizen of the family, party, or country of the wife in Romeo. So it's specifically for Romeo and Juliet. Oh, so it's a complete, it's like the Wiggly Tufts or Huggle Tufts or whatever Harry Potter type thing. I don't know. I didn't watch Harry Potter either. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you. Where are your eyes at? Like, I'm not trying to accuse you of anything, but... Like, what, what, are you, what are you looking at? Up next is uh, Tiara. Oh, Romeo, Romeo. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thou thy father I. and refuse no. thy name. On some persona. Or if thou wilt not, be but sworn, my love. And I'll no longer be a Capulet. No. She didn't even say Capulet, like, fully. Like, her voice gave out on her. That was kind of bad. Or was it? I don't know. I don't know what's good or bad. I'm not going to lie. All right. It's like if, you, if we were to go to a classical music uh, concert, we would not know where they messed up at. They can mess up all they want, and we wouldn't know. And last, but certainly not least. Because we're not, like, in the classical we have that much. What? Emily. I'm about to say, I'm going to have to take my headphones off. <clears throat> he has her oh, paper with her. Romeo, Romeo. Wherefore are you, Romeo? Deny thy, thy daddy. Okay, I understand that this uh, one's bad. Uh, Why is he smiling Is it okay so if hard? I was on book for this? Sure. Uh, it said on the call sheet that it had to be memorized. Yeah, it's all right. I'll make an exception for her. Oh. Oh, he really likes like like he likes like her. Is she not in high school? They're just talking about class or whatnot. It looks like they're in high school. So what? Am I? I don't want to be that guy, but um, he's probably just being nice because he knows there's no way she's getting Julian. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Romeo. Oh, she's going again. Romeo. Oh, yeah. Wherefore? Oh, Arthur. Romeo. Romeo. Oh. Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or if thou wilt not, be but sworn, my love. <laughs> and I'll no longer be a Capulet. <laughs> okay, that is that is major. Like that director saw saw her tip and he went, hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, are we serious? Okay. Oh, tomato, 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 tomato. Thank you so much for coming out to audition for the roles of Nurse and Juliet. It was a pleasure seeing all of you perform. Period. I've made my decision on the casting. Period. The role of Nurse will be going to... Kyra. Oh, really? <laughs> And even though we didn't get to see them perform, role, I think. Juliet will be played by. I swear, if you say Emily. Emily. What? Interesting. Oh, it's time to rehearse. <laughs> <laughs> she needs the first dance She doesn't know her lines. I am weary. 
Give me leave a while. Yeah. Thigh how my bones ache. Oh, they ache? What a jones have I. What? Um, I would. Joints thou hast my bones? Joints have I? Mm hmm. I would have bones or whatever. Uh, can you please focus? I'm trying to, but you're not helping. What you're gonna make me mess up my nails. Oh my lord. Emily, you know what I mean. I know that you got the role, but you still need to do well on stage. Didn't you say it was your dream for us to go to CMU together for acting? Man, you know I was cap. Duh. One look at me from the admissions counselor and I'm in the door, no doubt. Okay, buddy. Being a pretty girl isn't going to guarantee you admissions into the best drama school in the country. That's where you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you heard the saying that acting is 10% how you act and 90% how you look? I quite literally not heard that a day in my life, but I'm not into acting. But no, I, I, I've I, never heard that. I, I've been right so far, haven't I? <laughs> Uh, you made me mess up my nails. Oh, wop wop! Yeah. Uh, what you about to do? What are you about to do? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not about gentlemen. to watch her fail Tonight, on stage. We're proud to present book size rendition of Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. We are delighted to have you as our first audience to watch the show. Are you sure you're ready to go out there? Yeah. Why? Is there something wrong with my makeup? Yes, you. No. I mean, we haven't gotten through a single rehearsal without you flubbing your lines. Don't worry about it. Everyone's going to be so distracted by how good I look. Okay. They won't even notice. <laughs> Darman, you keep doing this where, look, Darman, you keep doing this thing where, like, distracted. Rehearsal, but we're like, that you flub it. When you does like when you do this like this side cut in your lines. Don't worry but about it. Look at her mouth. It. Everyone's gonna be so distracted by how good I look. They won't even notice. Like the it it loses sync every single time with her. I, I don't know what's what's happening right there, Darman, but you need to fix it. <laughs> so without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy. I can't I'm surprised she's able to have so much confidence. I'd be absolutely My terrified. Lips. Two blushing pilgrims, ready stand to smooth that rough touch with a tender kiss. I'm not gonna lie to you. If I went to a play and I heard that, I I have to look away because I'm like, what are you saying? He doesn't even sound like he's saying it fluently. Is that how he's supposed to say it? It does not sound fluent at all. Good pilgrims. <laughs> good, good pigeon. Good pigeon? <sighs> pigeon! Oh, I am weary. Give me leave a while. Fie how my bones ache. <laughs> she looks so lost on stage. And it's not her fault. It's just the director's fault. Thank God my headphones aren't completely on or I'd have to live in this Ooh, embarrassment. What a jaunt have I? Uh, oh, I... Would have some bones and some news. You're about to give some old man a heart attack. Bones. Look, and you're some about to news. give him a heart attack. No, look at her face. <laughs> She's. <so laughs> like, she should have went like, I have band aids. And I have antibiotics, you know what I'm saying? Just just keep it modern if you don't remember the lines. I got some antibiotics for you. And I'm, I'm, I'm praying. Speak, nurse. I'm, I'm praying. This hurts. This hurts. Look at her eyes. She's in absolute distraught. She look like she about to catch a, cast a spell. She a witch? <laughs> Speak, nurse. Speak! Why is this still happening? <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> he had to look up. He was like, he had to make sure, like, are are you actually dying? Are you? Did you use a real knife? Hey. Uh, I'm telling you, I don't know what you're so upset about. <laughs> I think the preview went really well. What no, level didn't. of delusion is this? It was a disaster. This? You made all of us look bad. <sighs> Please, I was the best looking one in the cast. Hence why I got Juliet. <laughs> Fine, be that way. Sorry. Oh, my shoulder. Hey, Nelson. Uh, any chance you could buy me lunch again today? <laughs> You're kidding, right? Oh. You led me on to do your project and you used me to buy you food. Oh. <laughs> used you? I don't know what you're talking about. I know about. you came. My friend works at the bullseye and you pulled the same thing on him. Oh. That please. means y'all both look that means y'all both look like victims, bro. Y'all. You talking about the guy with the uh that had the purple nails? Yeah, y'all just both y'all carry yourselves like y'all can be used easily, man. You know what that means? Never mind. I was it means it just means you need to you just need to watch out for watch out for these snakes out there. Be ashamed of yourself. Just because you're pretty doesn't mean you can treat people that way. Emily? Yes. Could you please explain to the rest of the class the difference between standard concave lens, standard convex lens, and standard flat plate when it comes to refraction? No. What did you say? Uh, uh I don't know. <laughs> really? But you explained it so perfectly in your project. Yes, because I looked up the answer, put it in the project, and forgot about it because it wasn't important. That's why. I kept it in my memory bank for that one second I did the project. That's why. Like, come on, bro. You did do your own project, right? <laughs> And, and karma. What's wrong? <laughs> He's powerful TikTok. Emily, could you please stay back? W I'd TikTok. Like to have a word with you about your project. W TikTok, man. Even or odd of all days in the year, come Lamas Eve at night. Shall she be for what does a llama's Eve mean? Oh, llama's is, is a girl and she will be 14. Okay, I'm gonna let her cook because I don't know why we're talking about 14 year olds, but let's let's see what happens. 14. Susan and she. Okay. Uh, did you get your nail polish here or something? No, uh, I came because I want your help. <sighs> Your pretty privilege isn't gonna work on me, Em. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's not what I'm saying. What do you want help with? I want to put in the work because you're right. In life, there are no shortcuts to success. Okay, and where did you learn you this need BS? To put in the work. And uh, look, I'm really sorry for embarrassing you and the rest of the cast. You literally just copied what I said. That's not gonna work on me, bro. You just copied exactly what I said. <laughs> Shut the door. I know we have about Shut a the week door. until opening night. So I- She really still has the role? Oh my God, that director needs to be, he needs to be looked at. He needs a deep background check. They wanna turn this around. So, what do you say? That director needs a deep background <sighs> check. <laughs> Let's get to work. <laughs> I like my socks clean. I don't let my socks dirty. Y'all think I can rock this hairstyle right here? Make my make my hair all like 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 a three a three a three C type uh thing. Have it rocket on a ponytail just like that. I think I look pretty. 
Nah, I know. Y'all think I want to live pretty? <laughs> I thought he said big boobs to his confidence, man. I'm barely listening to the music in the background. Sweat jacket always bring in that magic. <laughs> what is that? What are you talking about? No, no. What? My sweat jacket always bring in the magic. Your jacket does not look that good, buddy. What? Okay, but... I like my chicken nuggets dipping orange juice, chicken nuggets dipping milk too. I like my chicken nuggets with a little bit of ranch. I like my chicken nuggets by a girl who can dance. Uh. <laughs> Crocodile tears. What's oh. here? A cop lost in my true love's head. She changed her Why accent over time, too. W. Then it's timeless end. Oh, Cheryl. You're all I left no friendly drop to help me after. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Watch your hands, girl. Okay. Cause he can act like he dead, but that other thing can't act like it's dead. <laughs> I'ma give it a buck. You, you need to be careful, baby. Okay, cause he's not really dead now, so you better watch out. You know what's the craziest part? While Juliet is over here like tweaking, like in real life, if she was tweaking, he would be laying there and just doing his last poops and peas. Like he's probably he, in real life, he'd be pooing himself right now. So she just imagine all this and he just has poo in his butt and, and pee coming out because you have your last bowel movement when you die. Just to just to like, you know, just to make you just make you think. Oh, happy dagger. This is my sheep. They're us. Let me die. Look at this fake reaction, bro. <laughs> Everyone's so delayed in the re- <laughs> But that wasn't the side of her heart, though. So she could have lived that stab. The heart's on the left side. She stabbed her right. At least from the, from what I see. She stabbed her right, so... What if they just... What if they just... Brought her back to life? You know what I'm saying? What if they just took care of it? <laughs> Those were the worst curtains I've ever seen in my life! What?! There's no way. I've never seen curtains flail like this. This is kind of bad. No? No, I mean I've went to I've went to live theaters before, cause it was I, it was part of the class I had to I had to go see some real theater. The curtain don't look like that. Maybe maybe the theaters I went to were higher quality. The curtains we even had at my school at my low income school that has to like my school had to mix multiple like uh had to mix the high school and middle school together, right? So my low income school had better curtains than that. That's all I'm gonna say. Tomato, tomato, you tomato. were incredible. They loved you. Are you kidding me, right? Oh. But you stole the show. You're such a natural. No, she works hard. She's not a natural. Me. 
I would have totally bombed it if it wasn't for you. Ah, You're bombs. the one who put in the work. You should be proud. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. Uh, hi, Kyra. Yes. Hi, Jeff Douglas from the Carnegie Mellon University School of Drama. I, I know you are. Hi. Yeah, I know. Wonderful I... performance, by Sorry. I was wondering if you have a moment to chat with me about our program. Uh, I have unlimited moments for this, yes. Okay. I'll see you later, Kyra. <laughs> Emily, wait. Uh, actually, I want to uh, talk to you as well. She had she worked one time on her acting, and she's already getting recommended. The other girl put in is putting her life into this. This girl did it one time. She put in work. So, Darman, what's really the life lesson? If you're pretty enough, you can put in half the work. <laughs> if you're pretty enough, you can put in a quarter of the work. That's what I'm getting from this. Well, really? <laughs> Absolutely. You gave a stellar performance. I mean, you should be really proud of that, both of you. Man. I can tell you're different, and that is what our university is looking for. Different? What do you mean by different? Different <laughs> yeah, how? Yeah, someone wise once told me okay. there are no shortcuts to success. You need to put in the hard work. <laughs> One time! Excuse me, Emily. There's a video of you on TikTok going viral. Oh my gosh, what are people saying oh. now? No. Actually, I don't think I want to see it. No, no, no. no. They love you. Yeah. Man. Oh gosh, they did Congratulations. <laughs> Both of you guys Yo. better start getting used to that. <laughs> what do you say, shall we? Yes, okay. yes. You got a wonderful job too, by the way. Thank you. Maybe the maybe the director knew. He just saw the talent. He just knew all she has to do is try a little bit and she'll be good enough. That's he he knew off the top. He's like, she doesn't need to try too hard, just a little bit. Remember that, chat. Even if you're pretty, you still have to work a little bit. You don't have to work too much. Just a little bit. Man, beautiful life lesson.